I'm Wait. here. Now go. Hey guys, so I'm here at Costco and I'm going to be ba doing a baby shower gift for my lovely friend Josie. The one problem that I have is that I'm not actually a mom myself, so I don't know what diaper to actually pick. Um, so check out all these different diapers. We have Kirkland, Supreme, Supreme. We've got Huggies. There are just so many. And how do you choose which diaper to go with for a newborn? Huggies, all these different things. So I'm a little confused. I'm gonna to have to ask someone for help, but stay tuned because I'm going to show you how I build the gift from scratch for a baby shower. It's gonna be super fun and uh, hope you stay tuned. Bye. Good morning and welcome to Liz's channel. It's been a while, so um, I do apologize, but this is gonna be a great fun video. It's something that I've never done before. Uh, something that I do love to do is bake on the side and um, I'm going to a baby shower this evening. So I thought instead of going with a regular registry, registry gift um, or something purchased from a store, I'd rather be creative and make something myself. So I thought, what can I do? So I went to my good friends at Pinterest and I looked up some ideas. So what I've done is I've decided to make a cake, a diaper cake. So you will see that it is pretty much almost done here. And the reason that I did that was because it was really difficult for me to get the ribbon around without help. So I went ahead and pre-did these, but I'm gonna show you what I did. I purchased these, she's having a newborn, so I purchased some newborn Kirkland diapers from Costco and what I did originally was I'll show you they come they come like this okay so some of the ideas that I saw for the cakes either you can do the cake round like I did it and what I did is I put the bum part at the end so it's all nice flat not flat but it looks nice and even and beautiful so the rest of them what I did is I tore I curled them so again I curled from the top inward like that elastic okay because some of the cakes of the ideas they either tell you to do it upwards or they tell you to do it the way that I've chosen to do it however what I found is because I had so many diapers and I want her to have all of them um, I decided to fill these little ones in the middle to sort of give a tighter squeeze to the cake so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now so I one of my good friends Josie is having her second child and like I said tonight is her baby shower so I'm making this for her I just I don't know I, I love practical gifts and I think that this is a super cute idea and when it's all together you're gonna see how easy it really was I would say if you're going to do this, maybe give yourself about an hour, hour and a half, depending on how naturally crafty you are. Um, I like to try different things out. So it took me probably about an hour just to sort of figure everything out and get it all nice and tightened because now I can lift it and not worry. Um, so what I had done here is I'll show you. These are three different tiers, okay? and they're all done the same way you will see so you will see that they're all diapers going one way filled it and then made a nice little bottom okay but you want to make it larger because you're gonna be adding things to the sides so then you go with your third tier second tier excuse me and what we did is I purchased some ribbon okay these are two separate types of ribbon I bought this ribbon from indigo and then I bought this little ribbon and I just tied it in. We don't know if she's having a boy or a girl, so I decided to go with just neutral, really cute colors, but I wanted to tie it all in. I did not have enough green ribbon for my top tier, so that's why I decided to um, put this ribbon on the other two tiers so that it would all tie in together. And then that was my top tier. So again, you just wanna get your, I'll pull one out, you can see it. When you get your diapers, they're gonna come like this. So all you have to do is put them facing all one way. Now, if you have someone to help you, you could start putting them this way 
and then have that person hold them tight while you put the ribbon around. Or what you can do is measure out how big you want your tiers, measure out the ribbon, and then tie the ribbon together and then start filling in the diapers. If you are on your own and you, you don't have that help, um, that might be a little bit of a good key. Um, and then what I did with the ribbon is I, essentially I taped it, but then I stapled them. Um, so the ribbon part where it's stapled, all of them are here in the back so that nobody is going to know otherwise. But I wanna bring this down a little bit. So that is the easiest way, and it was honestly really, really fun to do. Really, again, didn't take too, too long. But it doesn't stop here. Now we have to add all the presents that we bought. Okay, so we purchased um, a couple of things that are really good and healthy for the baby. So we've got Johnson's uh, Head to Toe Body Wash. We have Body Lotion. We have... This is called uh, Cream for Common Skin Irritations. So we have that. We have these really cute, these are towelettes. So again, roll them. And what I'm gonna start doing, look, they're little froggies and duckies, like how cute is that? And then I wanna put them just in here. And I have a whole bunch that I'm gonna put together. Now you want to spread the love. You don't want it to all be on the same level. You don't want it to all be together. So because I have a frog and ducky there, I'm not going to put the same thing right beside it. I'm going to spread it out. So I'm going to do it on the bottom level. I'm going to just put them there. And you also don't want to forget the back either because people will see the back. But I am going to keep space in the back and there's a reason for that. I'm going to explain that when I put it together. So I have a green and white one here. Let's put that maybe there. We've got three more. We've got two green. I'm gonna put one here. How about a yellow one? I will put here maybe. Kind of are acting like candles actually. And then the last green, I'm gonna stick in the back here. Uh, no, I'm gonna maybe, mm -hmm. that's a yellow, green, yellow. Let me just put it, you know what? I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch out this yellow, put it down here. And I'm gonna put this green right there, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill with some fun stuff. So she's got the cream for the baby there. Let's put a shampoo or lotion right there. We're gonna put this one maybe here on the side. Okay. Then what I have is, oh, these are nursing pads. Very, very important. So, I'm going to stick the nursing pads. How about we stick them right here? Perfect. So this is also allowing it to get tighter so that when I travel with it, I'm not gonna have a hard time. It's gonna be super easy, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove this top tier for a second because I have this towel. It's a towel for the baby. So I'm going to put it like this in between. I'm going to fold it so that nothing shows on the back. I'm going to put my top tier back on like that. Is that working? It's working, okay. Now, we also, what gift doesn't come for a baby without a little stuffy? Oh my God, he's so cute. So our dog, Koba, if you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen Koba. He was obsessed with this little guy when I first brought him home, um, but because he's a baby, I didn't want Koba near him. 
And so I think we're gonna have to go and get Koba his own little ducky because he was really obsessed with this little guy. So we're gonna flip this over so everyone can see that it's a fish, right? Like that. We're gonna get the ducky to sit on top of it. And then we have this really cute hand towel for the baby. So you put your hand in, you wash, scrub, do all this fun little stuff. Just gonna fold that, gonna let the ducky hold on to it. Right? How cute. So far so good? Okay. Then what we bought, there was um, at Toys R Us, there was, um, it's called Munchkin Farm, and it's bath toys. So I love animals, always have, always will, I'm just obsessed with them. So we thought, how cute would this be to include this? So if you see, all the little animals that I'm gonna show have this mouthpiece with air. So eventually when the baby gets older, these are playtime toys for, for the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick them everywhere. I like the pig. I think the pig is really, really cute. But I'm going to place them where I want and then I'm going to tape them down so that I don't lose them. Okay, so that's gonna go there. I have so many of them. Let's see where we're gonna put all of these little guys. And that's why your layers are to be a little bit thick so that you can place them. Let's put a little froggy, right? Who doesn't want a little frog? I've got a little, oh. I've got a little horse over here. That'll be good there. Okay, we have a little owl and we have a sheep. Come on, look how cute this little sheep is. Is that not adorable? I would have loved to play with this as a kid. So, we need to... Okay, so as you can tell, my hair is now dry. And um, so I've sort of... We're, we're going to start from square one. So the first part of this video, you actually saw me make the... Um, the cake, the diaper cake for Josie. Um, so in case I didn't mention, I do wanna say that this is a gift for Josie. She is part of the Gigi Sisters, so you guys should follow them. They have their own YouTube, IG accounts, Facebook, everything. They're two moms from here, Toronto, local, and uh, essentially what you can do is just follow their paths and how they, they balance the work-life um, challenges. But this is a gift for Josie because she is due any day now. So Josie, I hope you really enjoy that this gift um, we've made from love and uh, we hope you enjoy. So this morning um, or during the first part of the video, you would have seen that I had the cake on this cardboard box. I wasn't happy with it. I'm not ever going to present something like that. So we, you know, I thought maybe let's do some tissue paper. Tissue paper was too thin. It's going to break. It's not, it wasn't going to work. So what we did is we went out and we bought some um, cardboard and I'm going to use that so just to show you really easily what you can do is take out your cardboard piece you want to measure it okay so this is where I'm now going to put my hair back so I get a precise look okay so I edged it to the end of the table too just because it gives it allows me a little bit of more give but I just want it to fit properly so I can even as a cheat sheet just tape it down so that it doesn't move while I am cutting. Because what happens is you don't want to have it, you, you want to be able to have the cut um, because if you let this loose and you go to pick it up, you may fumble and fall. What you need is the hard secured bottom. So it's very, very important that you do that, okay? So I'm just going to cut. Now keep in mind, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is all about being creative and having fun doing something that you enjoy. Okay, so really that's all it takes. Now I'm gonna remove the tape and maybe center it a little bit more, just like that. So tonight when I travel with it in my vehicle, it's not gonna fall, okay? Tape it down there. Tape it in all the corners. Now, you could use a harder tape. 
I'm just using scotch for now. Just make sure that it's all nice and sealed down. You don't want to miss any corners. Do it a couple of times there, just so you don't want to have anything fall off. And that's pretty secure. That's going to do, okay? What I thought about doing as well is now, I found this really, really cute sash. And we don't know, again, if she's having a boy or a girl. So look how cool this is, right? How cool. So I can either, um, it's probably backwards for you guys, but that's okay. That's so I can either give this to her and make her wear it at dinner, or I can cut it and use it as a cake display at the bottom, just like that, right? So I put the cake on top and it's gonna look really cute. I like it, I think it's gonna look really good. So now the tricky part is to slide the cake back onto here, which I will do ever so slightly. Lift the box up. This could be a little bit more challenging than I actually thought, but that's okay. It's a lot more challenging than I actually thought. My last cake is falling apart. It's okay. It's why we do these videos, so everyone can learn, right? So I'm just tucking everything back in. The front seems to have been okay. It's supposed to be rolled. Okay, and then we can just, maybe we just turn it around, turn it on. Mm -hmm. Or just pull it at this point. Pull. Perfect. Worked. I'm telling you, sometimes I sweat when I do these things. Just because I love I love things to just work out. So when they don't work out in my favor, it depresses me. See, our animals all stayed. Everything's still good. Our piglet's still there. Keep it nice and straight. That's what I need to know. this back a little bit. We got to get our books back in. So this morning was fun. We were at Kensington Market helping a girl group. They're, uh, they're also on YouTube. They're a local girl group called Cardia. You can follow them at Cardia Official. Great girls. Met them. They sing about positive, positivity and stuff like that, everything that I believe in. So I told their mom I would come and help them with a music video. So you should stay tuned for that because our dog Copa is in it, um, which is going to be really cute. But anyways, okay, so now I've pushed this down to the back, but I want to get my sash in somehow. So I'm wondering if I should just cut it and tape it at each corner instead of having it in the front. I think that might work better. So, I'm gonna cut it. This little rooster is giving me a hard time. Maybe he just wants to be on top instead. Okay. So, I'm going to cut where. So, question mark, girl, boy, question mark, girl, boy. So, right in the middle. Cut it like that. Okay, there's one. And then two. The rest you don't really need. So again, I'm just gonna take some simple tape don't like how that's aligned. I'm just going to fold it a little bit. Done. And then it's a question mark. Maybe tuck it under a diaper a little bit just to add some security. Just flip that around. Because we don't know. Are you having a boy or a girl? 
Nobody knows yet. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. I'm very much like my mother and we sing everything. Okay, so how does that look? I think it looks really cute. Okay. Now let's go to the other side. Little things like this are so fun and easy, really not difficult, not time consuming at all. You know, maybe just a little bit of patience. Sounds like a Guns N' Roses song. And that's it. So what I'm gonna do is cut this excess because I don't want it and it looks bad. Make sure you have good scissors. I did not make sure I had good scissors. But now if I cut this, it's gonna turn off the boy. So maybe I'm not gonna cut it, I'll just leave it the way it is, but I wanna flip my tape. So we'll just leave it like that. Et voila! Folks, here is your diaper baby cake. Like how cute, right? I love it. I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of it. So again, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, again, so this is for Josie's uh, baby shower. I'm so excited tonight to see her and all the other ladies and present her with this. I hope she loves it as much as I did. It was fun. It was creative. It's practical. Um, and it's different. So that's it. I think we're ready to go. So till then, I hope everyone has a great night. Remember, follow me, like me, share, comment. Would love to see some comments. If you thought that this was a little difficult, if you thought it looked easy, if you have any questions or if you have any ways that maybe I can do it better and um, maybe I'll redo it for somebody else. But anyhow, till then, keep the love, spread the love. Positivity is always the better way to go, folks. So enjoy your day uh, wherever you are in this world. And till then, ciao.